Okay there, folks. Thank you for joining me. No matter where you're at across the country around this big, beautiful globe, and we got ourselves a juicy one right here. Make no doubt about it. And it's really all just in good fun for me. I'm not trying to troll anybody. I'm not trying to hurt any feelings or anything like that. I'm sure Jenk is getting trolled a little bit. I'm positive Joe Rogan's getting trolled a little bit over this. But we're, we are just spitballing, if you will. Shooting the SHIT. You know the deal. Here's the thing. You know what old Georgie boy used to say, George Carlin? When you're born into this world, you get a ticket to the freak show. When you're born into America, you get a front row seat. And I, I always add a little on to that. You guys know that. <laughs> what do I always say? Feels more and more like we're just center stage. We're center stage of the freak show and they're just moving around the spotlight. This day it's on Joe Rogan. This day it's on Joe Biden. This day it's on Joe Manchin. Then it's Joe Cool, Joe Sixpack, Joe Schmo, you know, Joe Schmuckatelli, the whole freaking spiel. All right. It is a mess. It's a disaster. It's a catastrophe. I know. But every once in a while, you get some funny stuff like this. And this is funny. Now, I will say, I've uh, presented, if you will, many a times, an opportunity to at least take this a little seriously. We could hop in a ring like gentlemen, sign the contract. I've told people this many times. I draw it up, wise guy. Draw up the contract, wise guy. Now, I'm not saying I'd hop in a ring with Joe Rogan as it relates to uh, an MMA match. No, but a boxing match, absolutely. Oh my God, are you kidding me right now? I'm 22 years younger than him and I've been doing it for 18 years. Yeah, I would step in the ring with him when it comes to boxing. I have a brown belt in Marine Corps mixed martial arts. But, like I said, I don't think that I would want to hop in there with him on an MMA level. Jank Uger, I would suggest what I have suggested to all these other folks who get a little too worked up. Okay, get a little too worked up. Let's turn it into a positive opportunity. Let's hop in the ring like gentlemen or ladies. Okay, and let's handle it. Put on some headgear, 12-ounce gloves, boxing rules. Okay, you got a referee, you got medical, you got judges, the whole daggone thing, all right? The whole daggone thing. That's what I would do as a sort of outlet if I could. I don't know if he's talking about that. <laughs> I don't know if he's talking about that. I don't know how serious he is, okay? I, I really don't think he was being super serious. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it's just a funny thing. It's very peculiar. So... Check out what was said, and then we'll go from there. <laughs> this is what started it. This is what started it right here. He tweeted this. If Joe Rogan believes that the government violating your bodily autonomy is tyranny, then he must be furious about all the anti-choice Christian mules in this country. If he isn't, then he's a hypocrite. He's you know, didn't put it that nicely. Hypocrite sucking up to his right-wing audience out of either stupidity or cowardice. I agree, by the way. I agree. You know, it's funny. Joe Rogan has all the time in the world to make fun of these liberals. And I get it. Liberals are an easy target. Moderates and the freaking uh, histrionic blue dog. You know, these, these goofballs in the uh, Democratic Party and their base that do a lot of virtue signaling. I get it. It's very easy to make fun of them. But it's more serious when it comes down to the right wing because they are trying to force you to do certain things and it's against the first amendment it is a violation of your first amendment rights he doesn't spend a lot of time on that doesn't spend a lot of time on that they're trying to make you force you to stand for the pledge of allegiance what happened i thought you guys were for free. force you to stand for the national anthem what happened okay force you to pray in school what happened you get what i'm saying it's a mess man they're going to lock you up for burning the freaking flag. I love the American flag. I'm not one of these uh, left-wingers or leftists or whatever that gets triggered when they see the American flag. All right. But I'm not, also not triggered when I see it burn. I know you're not raking in the votes. I know you're not raking in support. But I'm not triggered. It's your First Amendment right. This got some responses. Okay. No need to draw on it. But like he's, he responds to him, he says, to all the loser Joe Rogan fans crying over my attack on his freedom, hypocrisy, and stupidity, are you guys part of the crew or do you kiss his ass for fun? I thought he was a big boy who could handle himself. If he doesn't like my free speech, 
he can grow a pair and defend himself. That's what I'm talking about, pal. That's what I'm talking about, pal. I don't think Joe Rogan could defend himself in a debate against Jank Uter. That's just me. Okay. I know there are a lot of people that like to cry about Jank Uter because he's confident. He says what he, you know, he says what he thinks, says what he feels, says a lot of times what he knows. Uh, and he has done a heck of a lot more politically than Joe Rogan will ever do. I am telling you that right now. Justin De Justice Democrats, Wolf Pack, Rebellion Pack, TYT, get out of here, man. That's what I'm talking about right there. Check this response. This is what pops it off. I'll make a $1,000 donation to your... This is uh, some no-name lunatic. I'll make a $1,000 donation to your trash, trash network or your charity of choice to see you call Rogan, who is not only the most successful podcast in history, but also a black belt in mixed martial arts, a loser to his face. Look, I would do that. <laughs> if you challenged me to it and it was for a thousand dollars and I thought, if I thought he was a loser, I, I don't necessarily think Joe Rogan's a loser. I just think uh, politically speaking, he's, he is like in this wishy-washy populist area. And, and look, I don't like it. It's like pseudo left to me. It's pseudo left. It's third way populism. You've heard me call it that many times. That's probably not a, you know, not a terrible term for it, if you will. Third way populism. I don't like it. Okay. This constant attempt to appease the most reactionary and retrograde forces in the country. It's absurd. <laughs> You're doing nothing but freaking coddling them. Now, Jenk Uger responds, Deal. Easiest thousand dollars I've ever made. You think he's going to assault me? Let's keep it real. Probably not. I mean, am I going to punch someone in the face for calling me a loser? Are you kidding me? What? <sighs> no, if they called me a loser and spit in my face, yeah, then they'd get it. Then you'd get it. Sure, whatever. That's incredibly dumb, but also wouldn't work. I'm much larger than Joe and I've fought my whole life. I'd end him, but gr uh, grown-ups don't do that. I'll send you the P.O. box to send the check later. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. And by the way, I'm sure he has been in plenty of fights. You know, he played, he played sports. Look, you can tell. Sometimes you can... Guys who have uh, been there, done that, can just tell. Okay, I've been there, done that. I can just tell. All right. Joe Rogan, a little different level of training. All right, he's not just uh, into you know uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or something like that. He really is into mixed martial arts. Matter of fact, he was um, pretty distinguished striker, if you will. Let's call it like it is. He was a distinguished striker. He won a lot as a striker, just in a striking sport. Okay. I believe it was Muay Thai kickboxing or kickboxing. You can correct me if I'm if I'm wrong. <laughs> Look, that is um, that is something else in my opinion. That is is something else right there. Uh, there's more though. There's more than that. Like I said, once again, I should point out I want. This, this is all in good fun. Okay, I know we get heated. There are some serious discussions to be had behind this, especially politically. If you want to get physical, get physical, physical. Hop in the ring like gentlemen or ladies. Put on some headgear and some 12-ounce gloves. Like I said, referees, uh, judges, all that good stuff. Medical, all that good stuff. Make sure you're physically capable. I know he works out. I know they all work out and stuff. All that good stuff. Let's not be tussling in the streets with fools. Okay. Let's not be hopping in the ring with any MMA fighter if you don't know MMA. All right. Or some form of mixed martial arts. Don't do it. Now, I will say, Jank Uger's uh, a little taller than Joe Rogan. He's much bigger than Joe Rogan. He's, he's younger than Joe Rogan by a few years. But still. Still, let's try to handle it like gentlemen, if it if it came to that. <laughs> Jake, don't back down. I, I don't think these uh, crybaby Rogan fans get it. 
He says to all you to all the right wing fans of Joe Rogan. That's pretty much all of them by by now. You look triggered. It's okay. Me being tougher than Joe Rogan doesn't have anything to do with your masculinity, or does it? You know, I've asked this. He says, why all the gratuitous insecurity? I thought you guys were all alphas. Yeah, right. Come on, man. Come on, man. Alphas don't need to go around calling themselves alphas. That's a freaking beta right there if I've ever seen one. Look, there's this tendency, on a more serious note, of guys and girls sometimes. Guys and girls. To try to live vicariously through other people. And I'm telling you something right now. When it comes to uh, your own toughness. That ain't it. That ain't it. That's pitiful. A lot of people did it with, with Trump. You see it with politicians constantly. People try to live vicariously through their politicians. You need to be as tough as you can in your own mind. Don't be. Don't. Uh, your mind needs to be that tough. Don't. Don't. Don't like try to get other people to be as tough as you. It's, it's never going to work. It never works out well. Okay? Get them to toughen up on their own, but never try to get people to be tough as you if you're hard as nails or if you're hardcore or something like that. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. And by the way, if you're soft is all get out, if you're a cream puff, if you're a cupcake, if you're a back alley bum, a preschool punk, if you're a chump, if you're a sissy, if you're a mama's boy, if I could find someone like you anytime, anyplace, anywhere, anyhow, anywho... Don't be comparing yourself to men who or women who have actually done things in their life physically and can handle themselves physically. And don't be living through them. Okay? Don't say, oh, well, they're tough. I like them, so I must be tough. You know, I saw a lot of this uh, nonsense in the Marines. A lot of Marines who thought they were tough because they were Marines. You know what ended up happening to them? I balled that ass up real quick and they found out, oh, well, you know. I'm just another guy, I guess. At least I hope they found that out. Just another guy. I Just just another guy. Jag. And believe you me, I did that a lot. Hey, you, you can ask any Marine that knows me. Any Marine that knows me. I was yoking fools up when it came down to it. All right? Because look, there are people who walk around with this incredible chip on their shoulder. This incredible chip on their shoulder. They're the roughest. They're the toughest. They're the hardest. Because of the accomplishments of someone else. If you're a Joe Rogan fan, you're not as tough as him. Okay? You're, you're not tough because he's tough. It's the same thing I told some of these cupcake Marines that I had to deal with. You aren't tough just because you're a Marine. Okay? You aren't tough because you're from here. <laughs> you know, we used to have this saying. I, I'm sure they still say it now. It ain't, it ain't for, uh, about where you're from, it's where you're at. It ain't about where you're from, homeboy, it's where you're at. You get what I'm saying? All right, don't, don't tell me where you're from. You're here right now, pal. So all this nonsense about these betas that are crying and acting tough because they think Joe Rogan reaches some level of toughness, save it. Save it. I don't ever want to hear it. Or you could, you know, sign the contract. If you're if you're one of these fake tough guys or want to be wise guys, draw it up. Let's handle it like gentlemen, guys. It's all in good fun, but I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.